Hello again. It's time to edit your build prop. Uh, first, open your handy dandy file explorer. And you gotta be rooted. You gotta root your phone to be able to get into the root folder. And in the settings or configuration, make sure that you're on super usable, super user, and the system is mount writable. And the build prop is in system. It'll be at the very bottom. And you can look at it. And you can also you can also edit it. In, in Explore, you just long press on Build Prop, <clears throat> and then go down to Edit Text. Um, I've scoured the internet looking for for Build Prop tweaks, and uh, so I'm just going to list the you know the few that I've found that are helpful. Some of them. Are purported to be useless, but uh, first one is the Bluetooth tethering. It may or may not be on zero. Zero is no or false, and one is yes or true. So, and also on the USB tethering, that on one. Um, the persist radio voice DOM room. One Okay The CDM mode preferred Yours will probably already be on four Change the persist data net mgrd mtu it'll be on 1472 change it to 1482 the wi-fi supplicant scan this is supposed to be a, a a battery tweak um i think mine was originally about 10 or 15 and that's seconds so um i put it on Two minutes, 120 seconds. I've seen it. People would put it as high as 150, or even 180. But I just stick with the 120. GPS mode, a GPS mode two. frames per second 75 that's 16 BPP alpha 1 <clears throat> uh, the max events per second mine was originally 240 but reading on the internet it says that you really won't get any benefit on anything over 90 These are um, 3G tweaks from there down to about there. HSXPA 3, GPRS class 12. This may or not have any effect if you put it on 0 or 1. HSDPA category 28. And HSC, HSUPA category 9, GPS mode 2, A520, A531,
tele telephony call ring delay zero. This might not be one something that works in um, ice cream sandwich. I've read that it does work in uh, gingerbread to keep your, um, your launcher in memory. These are supposed to be battery tweaks. Those might not work either, but um, these are logging. These are to disable logging, both of those on one to disable. Those do work. Now here at the end are ones that I've found that I had to add where they weren't on the uh, build prop to begin with. So I actually had to type them in from, well, all the rest of them I had to put in there. Uh, I'll get into a little bit more on this, the daddy rooming, in a minute. Um, definitely put this one on here that will uh, make it to where uh, when you take the phone away from your ear, it won't take as long for the picture to show up. Now, the ones I found on the internet said 25, but when I went to put that into, um, or when I opened up the ROM toolbox, the lowest setting was at 100, and it's still pretty fast when you take it away from here, so I just kept it at 100. These two here are GPS tweaks that definitely work. After I put these two on there, it, it picked up the signal quick. Um, these two are just in addition to to these. I'm not sure if they have any effect, but I just went ahead and left them. The next one, two, three, four. The next four um, I found for the EVDO B HSPA. It's just it wasn't for the Evo 3D or the Evo V. It was for another phone, so you probably won't want to put those on there. I just left them on there for the hell of it. Um, I found the Ymax one on um, a reputable uh, author, so put that in there. And I found this one on Negalite's website, and that one has goes along with uh, actually the it's one of the first ones. This right here, but it was worded a little bit different, so I just went ahead and put it on there. Anyway, after you're done editing, um, click that, click the save button, and then after you save it, you have to reset the permissions because it's going to um, come on. Might not let me save it because I haven't changed anything. Okay, so after you edit it it'll change the permissions and they'll look like this and you want to go ahead and click those back off hit OK and then I've read that you want to clear your cache and possibly even your Dalvik cache after doing that so go into your recovery and you can go to the white menu Dalvik and cache yeah. Okay. Um, with the with the roaming, um, I actually before I made this video, I went and changed it to true. And uh, I th I think it might have done something uh, when when I before when I went to turn on three G. And, and I would go into the menu under mobile network and put it on roaming, put on roam only, and that X would come up by the, um, the signal bars. And it would stay there. But after I did that, see what it would say was, it would say network not available. But now it's not saying that. It says something else but it would actually click itself off and then this bar wouldn't even be available 
So I'm waiting for it to settle to show you that it doesn't say say that anymore. Now I don't even think I can get roaming because of the PRL that I'm on. Doesn't allow for roaming, but you you may be able to <clears throat> find a hybrid one. Hey, I'm on two one zero nine four. Uh, I think there's one zero 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 two that may let you do this, but um, you know, Sprint doesn't want you roaming on Verizon's towers, and I've read that if you go over a threat threshold or so much data that they'll flag you and see it's a, there's a triangle triangle up by it. It still says turning on. Um, and yeah, they'll flag you, and uh, they may, they may. Uh, uh, they may uh, terminate your contract, so you need to be careful with that. But like I said, with the firmware that I'm on on Virgin Mobile's firmware, I, I don't even think I can get that. So. I don't really mess with it because I can I can get the internet without uh, as long as I have a 3G signal I can get the internet with uh, Droid VPN and I've made another video about that so check it out if you want um, I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do another video about um, about the EPST okay. See, so it didn't work. Make myself into a liar. I'll go ahead and turn off the roaming. See, that's that's what it would say. But on the next video, I'm going to go into here and uh, show you what um, tweaks I've done in here. So check it out.